Hello, welcome to the practicing story number four. In this story, we are focusing on the present continuous tense. So you should imagine all of the actions are happening at this moment. They are all happening while you are listening right now. Let's get started. At the moment, I am speaking English. I am talking to you. And you are listening to me. You are learning English now. This is our mini story lesson. We are studying English. Okay, here is our mini story. There is a girl. Her name is Alicia. She is at home. She is sitting on the sofa and watching TV. Her mother is in the kitchen. She is cooking the dinner now. Alicia's father is working in the garage. He is trying to fix his car because it isn't working now. Alicia has a big brother. He is playing basketball in the garden with his two friends. The weather is good. The sun is shining today. Hello, are you enjoying the story? Please give us a like. Thank you. Also, Alicia has a little sister. Her name is Anna. She is three years old. She is sleeping in her bedroom. If you like this video and want to see more videos like it, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Okay, that is the end of the story. Let's go back to the beginning, this time with questions. You must answer every question. Use your pause button and answer the question. Then play again. You can answer with just one word or two words, it's okay. Short answers are okay. Always answer the questions with a strong voice. This is so important. When you do this, you teach your mind, you teach your brain to be confident when you speak English. Your English will improve much, much faster. Okay, let's get started. Am I speaking Japanese? No, I am not. I am not speaking Japanese. I am speaking English. When am I speaking English? At the moment. I am speaking English right now. I am speaking English at the moment. Who am I talking to? You. I am talking to you. What am I doing? I am speaking English and I am talking to you. Am I listening to you? No, I'm not. I am not listening to you. I am talking to you. And you are listening to me at the moment. Are you listening to music now? No, you aren't. You are not listening to music. You are listening to me right now. Are you sleeping? No, you aren't. You are not sleeping. What are you doing? You are listening to me. Why are you listening to me? To learn English, you are listening to me to learn English. Are you learning French? 
No, you aren't. You aren't learning French now. You are learning English. What are you learning now? English. You are learning English now. There is a girl. Her name is Alicia. Is there a girl? Yes, there is. There is a girl. Is there an old woman? No, there isn't. There is not an old woman. There is a young lady. There is a girl. What is her name? Her name is Alicia. Is her name Rose? No, her name is not Rose. Her name is Alicia. Where is she? She is at home. Is she at school? No, she isn't. She is not at school. She is at home. What is she doing? She is sitting on the sofa and watching TV. Is she jumping on the sofa? No, she isn't. She is not jumping. She is sitting on the sofa. What is she doing on the sofa? Sitting. She is sitting on the sofa. And she is watching TV. Is she sitting on the TV? No, she isn't. She is not sitting on the TV. She is sitting on the sofa. Listen to the lessons repeatedly to think in English and automatic speaking. Repetition is very, very important to become fluent. You need to speak English fluently without translating in your head. The words should come out of your mouth automatically. So, this is where the repetition comes in. If you repeat the same vocabulary and sentences many times, you will become a master of this vocabulary and grammar. So, you will be able to use that words automatically, without thinking about grammar rules and without translating vocabulary in your head. In order to think in English, you must repeat vocabulary and sentences as much as you can. After lots of repetition, eventually you will start to think English in your head and improve your speaking skills. As I mentioned before, we use the question and answer method repeatedly in our short story lessons. So, you will listen to the vocabulary and sentences many times in the same lesson. Is she listening to music on the sofa? No, she isn't. She isn't listening to music. She is watching TV on the sofa. Where is Alicia's mother? In the kitchen. Her mother is in the kitchen. Is she in the bathroom? No, she isn't. She is not in the bathroom. She is in the kitchen. What is she doing in the kitchen? Cooking dinner. She is cooking dinner. Is she washing dishes? No, she isn't. She is not washing dishes. She is cooking the meal, cooking the dinner. Is she cooking dinner in the garage? No, she is not in the garage. She is cooking the dinner in the kitchen. If you want to complete your practice of this story, you can go to EnglishEasyPractice.com and download the audio lessons of the story.
so you can practice English with it whenever and wherever you want. Just listen to our short stories and answer the easy question out loud. You will improve your listening and speaking skills fast. And that's all for now. See you at EnglishEasyPractice.com.